So would you like to do a set of canter work first or a set of trot work together? Awesome. Awesome. I like a plan. I like a rider who knows what they want. Okay, so hang on. Let's make our, let her walk in a long rain again. Let's make our plan here. So on this next set of canter, after you have her up tempo and you like it, what do you want to feel? What figures? Awesome. Okay. So go ahead and pick her up. Okay. Awesome. I have one tip for you. On left lead canter, I think you're a little bit too soft okay. with your right shoulder. Okay, so I want you to think about the value. You ride good with your leg. Okay, you ride really good with your leg. You're really even, you're square, all good. But I think when you think about the left lead canter, when you're thinking about the softness of the inner bend and what you're feeling, your body language gets a little bit tipped left. And I think you need this shoulder to keep her together. Yeah? And really think, I need my outside shoulder to keep her compact. I need my inside rein to keep the compact soft. But I think sometimes you're a little bit too soft with your outside shoulder. Okay? So let's pick her up when you're ready. <clears throat> Good. And before you start cantering, just say, is it easy to collect the walk a little bit? Good. And walk on. That was nice. Good. And one more time when you're ready. Not when I say it. You prepare, okay? And then you do it. Good. Collect the walk. And walk on. Good. All right. And when you're ready, Taryn, go ahead and pick up your canter on the left. And right away, think up-tempoed. Light-footed, very active. Come, right away. Active. Light strides. Come. Good. And don't bend her to the left. Keep her really straight on that right rein. Keep her really straight on that right rein. Up-tempoed, light-footed. Come. a girl. Now I really like your right rein. There. Don't give up that right rein. It's not a vice grip. It's not a trap. It's just a soft corridor. Good. I don't want her getting crooked to the left, and then she gets out with that right shoulder. Light-footed. Good. Because if the shoulders get down and out, now go around the ring. That's lovely there. Now collect her just a little bit, but really light-footed. Quick. Active. And out to test canter. Light-footed. Yep. Stay cool. Good. I like that look right there. Down the long side. Now go a little bit more forward, two strides. Now rebalance or click. And go forward again, two strides. Come. Come. And rebalance her. Good. Light footed. Beautiful. Awesome. And again, a nice forward half fault, a couple strides. Forward. And now rebalance. And now soft and relax. There. That's light footed to me. How's that feel? Now to go the other way. Collect her just a little bit. Small degree, but active. Get her on. Get her on. Push her through that contact. Don't give to her. Good. Don't hold her. Don't give. Just think that that is a little bit her tightness in her back. Now get her on again. Good. Yep. Just stay with sensitivity to your leg. And receive that leg question through your contact. Don't even worry about the contact. Just ride your connection quiet and steady. Fix it from your leg. Awesome. Now collect her a little bit. Light-footed. Now you're good. There. Now you're good. Taryn, that to me looks like your canter, okay? Awesome. Now go ahead and prepare for your half pass. Good. Down the long side. School the canter again. Collect her just a little bit, but active. Good, 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 good. Nice. And collect. Light-footed. Really through that right rein. Good. Out. Sit back. Don't worry about that tension. Ride through that. Yeah, don't let her drop those shoulders. Good. Down the long side again. Sit back and ride a little more forward. Now collect her right away. Balance her. Good, good. Now ride forward again. Come. And collect her again. Now prepare your thoughts for your half pass again. Your half pass, you actually rode quite nice. 
the ending, she was crooked. So try to improve the ending this time. Keep your right shoulder back, look up. Now think of finishing this in a slight shoulder four. Blend it to straight. There, shoulder four, change it back. Canter, shoulder four. Good. And there's the culprit. Can you see how much the right rein is the issue? Yeah, you can go around it, sure. You can bend her left all day if you want to, but ah, you gotta get her honest. Awesome. Now what we gotta do is say, instead of riding so many half passes, just ride shoulder in left now on the next long side. And your right rein is not a trap, but it is a corridor. She has to accept being ridden into that corridor. Now go straight. Light footed. And shoulder four again. And straight. Tempo, tempo, tempo. Fix the contact from your leg. Yep, just stay cool in front, but fix it from your leg. Just keep riding. Light footed horse and get her back softer. Good. And it goes straight. Beautiful. Don't buy into the contact being the issue. Yep, solve it from your leg. Awesome. Good. Shoulder four again. Now she's accepting the right rein better. Awesome. And go straight. And now collect her just a little bit. Not because you need to, because you want to. Ah. So that was not behind your leg. That was her not wanting to shift her balance. Now can her out. Good. Every time you collect her, don't just think it's about slowing down. It's a physical shift of her balance that she lowers her croup and lifts her withers up with energy. And now can her on. Good. Yeah, don't think of collection just as speed. When she collects, she should sit more and lift her withers up more. Good. And that'll be long lasting. If she drags those shoulders, she'll, yeah, good. Now can her out. Now collect her uphill, active behind, uphill. Now can her out and roll along, roll along, good. Now collect her again, uphill. Now roll along forward, there, that was an uphill collection. Not a slow down trap. One more long side and shoulder in. Every collection is to be uphill. Lighten the shoulders, can her out, good girl. Good girl, now she's getting light footed. Every time you collect, your standard is that she gets taller in front and she sits behind, lower behind. Not that she slows down. Can her on. Very good. Awesome. That's a light-footed canner. Do you feel this? Awesome. Now that her balance is not Taryn's balance. Now it's her self-balance. Now you're going to ride a half pass to the quarter line. From the rail to the quarter line. And then you're riding shoulder four. And now shoulder four. Own your line. Own your line. Own your line. Come on, canter, canter, canter. Don't worry if she changes. So what? Come. And now go straight. Awesome. After the corner, half pass left, only to the quarter line. And then shoulder four. And shoulder four. Rebalance her into the right rein. Forward, forward, forward. Now half pass again to the left, a few strides. Now shoulder four. Shift her balance over to her right. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Straight. And a walk break. Good job, girl. She's a big girl. So when she gets in that half pass, she goes, the current's taking her. Yeah, off she goes to the left. Woo! And then you got to fight the current yeah, to get her back straight again. You feel that? So she needs a lot more small transitions before she gets too much in her own zone of falling left. She falls left. She's not half passing left. She's falling away from... Oh, geez, what rain did we talk about? When you're half passing left, her balance has fall, fallen left, and she's not staying on that right rein. Yep. So I'd much rather you ride just a few steps over, rebalance her. It's not a resistance at all. She needs your help. So half pass and then straighten her. Half pass, straighten her. That she, She's not tipping left and then gets to the zone where I have no control. And secondly, I want you to really have the standard that when you think you collect her, all right, you physically see, like I guarantee yesterday, I wasn't here, but I don't even need to see this, know it, nothing. I guarantee that when Stefan halted her, I bet she was under behind and up in front. Right? Because that's the purpose. That's the purpose. It's not stop. 
It's not stop. Yeah. yeah. So you have to apply that to her big time. She's a long girl. Yeah. yeah? So you've got to help her rebalance herself. So you've got to say in collection, it's not just that she's covering so much ground and then she covers less ground. It's what's the quality of the canter when she's covering less ground. She's got to be sitting down more behind and lifting up in front. And then go on again. Because the same thing, she just starts cruising. Yeah, boating term again. Don't get the bow into the water. Yeah, it's not a good feeling, yeah? Okay, pick her up on the right lead canter. Take your time, exactly. Take all the time you need. Prepare. If she's been a contact horse, you take your time. There's never a rush. Oh, I got a problem with that. Walk, stretch, long rein. You look fun to pick on. You got a great smile, okay? So, I think you said to me, like, I try to listen pretty good. I think you said to me something about contact at the walk, right? So let me ask you a question. If she's starting to get good, and then you throw it away to love her, I don't think that helps her. If it's good, keep it good. Follow me? I wouldn't give it away so much. Okay? I would keep it, let her learn this is what it feels like. Because the more you give it away all the time, it's like, well, she just got it, but then she gives it away. What does she really want? Yeah, I want her to understand this is contact. All right? Don't reward her so often. I want her to like the contact. Good. Especially if she's been a contact horse. You don't want to throw those pressure points away a lot of the time. You want her to like the pressure. Good. Good. Ah, ah. Good. Good. Now control the walk before you pick up the canter. Awesome. That was nice. She listened beautifully. That was really good, Taryn. Really, really good. And again. Good. Ah. Walk on. No worries. And that's not a resistance. Just do it more often. Gives you more opportunities. Ah, and walk on. Don't pet her. Good. Now bring her back again. And walk on again. Good. Don't pet her. Wonderful. Let her land into that and trust it. Good. Don't give that away. She starts getting good. Awesome. When you're ready, you'll pick up your canter. And light-footed. Light-footed. Energy. Nice. Adjust your rein length. If you, yeah, exactly. Good girl. Good girl. You're riding very nicely. Good. Sit up and proud. Good. Good. Rider a little bit straighter on your left rein. Just a little bit straighter. Right there. Right there. I like that. There. Nice. Now practice. Exactly. Practice that when you collect her, it is not just less ground cover. It is energetic. It is uphill. It is under behind. Now canter out and roll across the ground. Not dropping her, but giving her space. But not dropping her. Good. Now collect her again. That it's an uphill idea. Low croup. Up shoulders and active, light footed, light footed, light footed, not labored, not labored, not labored. And canter out. Nice, right there, down the long side. Good, that looks really nice. Now go ahead and flex her to the right just for a stride or two. That she's soft. Now straighten her left rein. Don't let her live in a right position. Good. Yeah, you check that straightness has suppleness. Good. But the more you bend her, the harder it is to get to her shoulders. Yeah, good. Nice. And I think if you get her shoulders light, you have a lot more energy in the horse. Very nice. Without driving the horse. That looks beautiful, Taryn. Really nice. Down the long side. A little forward half fault. Press her forward. Now rebalance her. Uphill, uphill. Beautiful. That looks really good. Now the other way. Collect the half fault. That she's just easy to adjust from her test tempo and can her out. That looks really good. Looks simple. Looks effortless. Looks really nice. Good. And collect her again. Good. And again, all these transitions we're doing not because we need to do them. Because we want to do them. Good. We remind her to go forward. We remind her to sit and collect and rebalance herself. 
That looks really nice. Okay, prepare yourself for a half pass. Take your time. That looks, you're riding beautifully right here. You're sitting up proud. I know you like the feeling of the horse now because you really are sitting up beautifully. Awesome. Now you're in the fun part. Now it's just keeping her tuned. You don't have to work for anything. Keep her tuned. And straight. I appreciate what you did there very much, but this right lead canter is totally different than the left lead. You don't have to worry about riding shoulder in. Awesome, this is gorgeous. And collect again, good. One more half pass right, and just ride normal your exit. Straight down the center line, light footed. And just gently ask her to be active in the half pass. Don't hold her with your left leg. Communicate with your left leg. Tuck, tuck. Tuck, tuck. Tuck, tuck. And now straight. Good. I'd like that to be her half pass, not you carrying it. One more time. Just play with your left leg a little bit, that you feel she's sensitive, that you're not just squeezing her across the track. Good. Communicate with your left leg in the half pass. Keep your right thigh steady, your left thigh steady, but activate your left heel. Tuck, 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 tuck. And now straight and collector. Collector, uphill, active. Ah! I knew that was coming. Canter out. Again, why does that happen? It's a different balance shift, right? You follow me? So you got to refresh the straightness again. Yeah. Everything is finished with the ability to adjust the horse. Not cruising from point A to point B. Awesome. Ride your half pass just like you did. It was beautiful. But as soon as you finish your half pass, say, do I have control of my horse again to get ready? Tuck, tuck, left heel. Tuck, tuck. Tuck, tuck. Now shift her weight. Uphill, collect. Uphill, uphill. Under behind. Now can her on. Change her back. Change her back. Come. Ride. Stay steady. Send her forward from your leg. Train her. Come on. Forward. Ah, now collect, good. Say, I don't care if you get resistant. I'm going to show you. I just use your back muscles. Yeah, tell her to use her back muscles in her hind leg if she wants to kick out. Yeah, we don't kick her back at all. We just tell her to use herself. Now, one more time, your half pass. Don't ride at all the assumption something's going to happen. Nothing's going to happen. Left leg, tuck, tuck. Tuck, tuck. Now straight and say collect her a little bit. Uphill. Can on. Collect again. Can on. Better. After the, ah, why so much love? Cut. Cut. Now a little forward, a little forward. She kicked out a little while ago. I wouldn't give her love. Yeah. Oh, love is good work. And collect again, especially a horse that's had a connection issue. Good. Can her out. Nice. This is love. Good through work. With consistency. That's love. Ah. Now feel I have control as soon as I'm straight. Yeah, uphill collection. Can run. Good girl, don't pet her. Uphill collection again, come. And forward again, sit back, come. Good, now when you're ready, a transition to walk. Good, now pet her. Good, very nice. Very, very nice, very nice.